I don't know where to begin with this video. Except for to tell everybody that yes, I had a very bad mental snap. Where somebody had flaked on me on Grinder when I was looking for about three days for somebody who was reasonably good looking to hook up with and finally found one and he kept me waiting 12 hours and I beat myself senseless laying in the road because I had a lot of shit that led up to that just snowballing itself a snowball effect that led up to that mental snap first it was New York me going to New York to be with the alcoholic who chose the bottle over me. And yes, I do have a bit of a black eye that is not makeup. I did give myself a black eye in my mental, in my uh, last video. No makeup there, no mascara, no eyeliner, no marker. Not coming off on my hand. Um, I went, I trusted somebody's kind, somebody's kindness alleged kindness and you know went all the way up there and to be with him and he um he threw me out because I went to Walmart instead of watching him pass out all over the house he accused me of cheating on him and he was well he was almost 60 years old he couldn't even get it up because of his alcohol problem and then I went so I vented about it on Facebook, and somebody reached out and brought me and said, "Come to Iowa." So here I am, spending three hundred dollars in five days on a Greyhound to Iowa. Get to Iowa, and the person's a techie, a tech addict who's a total narcissist. Who, well, you heard about that, and then finally, I finally found somebody who's reasonably good looking and on, on grinder to actually shack up with because you know I figured the best I can get is sex at this point so here I am waiting 12 hours texting somebody who's texting me saying he's here when he wasn't blah 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 just texting back and forth just it, an agonizing 12 hours until he said send me pictures or a video so I wound up slicing my arm up and beating myself senseless in the middle of the street because I can't even get somebody who's attractive to use me or abuse me. And that's what really led up to it. The fact that I can't even get someone who's attractive, who's my age, to invite me over to abuse me or treat me like garbage. I only get ugly people, old people, and morbidly obese people to treat me like garbage. The rest of the world, the rest of the gay community totally ignores my existence unless they're already in the arms of another man. And that's my dilemma. And furthermore, I think since my mental snap, I stopped, you know, I stopped caring about the Golden Girls. I tried to watch the Golden Girls. They're my fate. That's my shit right there. Well, it was. Last night I finished watching Season 5 of Desperate Housewives, I've been binge-watching in, in, in this place that I'm staying at in exchange for housework. I've been cleaning, I've been mopping, I've been plunging toilets, I've been cooking, I've been doing dishes, I've been doing the whole nine yards here. And in my free time, I would binge-watch Desperate Housewives. I had, I had and have zero interest in watching The Golden Girls. Since all this shit happened, I have stopped watching The Golden Girls, which really is my absolute main concern right now. Because that shouldn't be. I should be obsessing and preaching the gospel of The Golden Girls, but I could care less. Honestly. And that scares me. That scares me. That I'm this close to having myself committed. Because Only because... I have zero interest in watching The Golden Girls. I tried watching it last night after binge-watching every episode of Desperate Housewives that I bought. And now, I tried. I tried sitting through it and couldn't. I can't watch The Golden Girls anymore. I don't feel like it. 
I don't want to. And that's scary as fuck. That scares me more than anything else. Because I've never been so passionate about something as the Golden Girls, and now I have zero interest in it. Zero. And I'm ready to go celebrate their anniversary in California by going to this restaurant on the 14th. But on the upside, I have tickets to go see James Corden at the late show, so I'm going to go see him. Hell, I'm more excited about that than anything pertaining to the Golden Girls. Yay, James Corden tickets.